It's still dark and we're getting ready to go. Looks lovely at night though. Hello, good morning, it's day, proper day one now. Proper day one. It's 6.20 and we are just in the lift at Endless Summer Surfside. We're going to early entry at Islands this morning. It's 6.38, here we are. We are here. Um, it's still very dark, <laughs> as you can see. Breeze through security again, which is pretty good. I feel like I should address that. I'm looking a bit more presentable today with my straightened hair and makeup. Um, so the plan for this morning is go to Islands of Adventure, yep. take some nice photos in um, Hogsmeade without too many people, yeah. get on Hagrid's, yeah. then we're just kind of going to see what we fancy doing. We'll head over to studios once it opens at 8 and then we'll go back to the hotel, have a little nap, go into the International Drive outlet and then we've got cowfish that says walk for dinner. So Ooh. exciting day ahead, looking forward to it. interested in what it's like early entry there were still quite a few people in here yeah. um, I think it's probably just coming up to seven o'clock this let's in a little bit early but there are a lot of people and some people are running so just uh, case in point. <laughs> so just bear that in mind <laughs> So they've just told us that Hagrid's is delayed opening and they don't have an estimated opening time. They're not preloading the queue. So a load of people have just gone over to um, the Jurassic World area, but we are carrying on with our plan to have some nice empty photos in front of the various things. And I feel like I've never seen Hogsmeade without a huge queue. As much as everyone has still kind of rushed to be here, you can see there's actually quite a lot of space around, which is amazing. I feel like I can take in the theming a lot more than we did the last couple of times we were here when it was so busy. Oh my goodness, there's pet pixies around. <laughs> I've never noticed this before outside the three broomsticks. That is really cool. Ah, oh, and then the hog's head sign is there. Very nice. I've, I've, oh my goodness, uh, look at how empty this is. People are hovering outside the Hagrid's entrance just waiting for it to open, but like, oh my goodness. I feel like it's just so much more beautiful and so much easier to appreciate when there's not loads of people here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Cute! Oh, he's got an owl on him! Oh my goodness, adorable. Oh. Is there any view as beautiful as Hogwarts Castle? Wow. And until these two girls just started walking, there was nobody on this bridge. Amazing. Wow. So we are heading into Forbidden Journey. I'm going to go and lock on my bag and then I'll see you afterwards. So we've just come off Hagrid's and we both no, said we, we thought... Haven't. No, we haven't. We've just come off Forbidden Journey. Journey. And we both said we thought it was more intense than the last time that we went on it. Yeah. Um, I was a bit like, it's not motion sick. I felt like we were being thrown around but Yeah, so did I. Um, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I love that. Um, Hagrid's is still down. It's 25 to 8. Yeah. Um, I think that wait was posted at 10 minutes and it probably took us about 15. Yeah, it's got um, up to so 25 fine. minutes of extra time. Well. Yeah, we did. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll probably just hop around here for a bit, hope that Hagrid's comes up, and yeah. then hopefully we'll get in the queue Guess where we are? I picked up a dark chocolate frog because my other half loves dark chocolate and he loves Harry Potter, so hopefully he will appreciate that. It's $14. So bright and colourful in here. So we're in the Sinbad queue, just waiting, but at least it's nice and cool in here. So it's 8.04 and the queue's just started moving quite a bit, although it's still showing as being delayed on the app. Um, I don't know if I said we're in the extended queue for Hagrid's, um, so I'm guessing they've opened the, like, the main queue even if the ride's not up yet, so we will keep you posted. We've been waiting since quarter to eight, so it's been about... 20 minutes but we've been playing heads up haven't we and keeping busy so um yeah hopefully we'll be on the ride soon ish so it's 11 minutes past eight we've just locked our bags so i'm interested to see how long it's going to take because we are obviously just got in the queue so um the actual queue not the extended queue so yeah we'll see how long it takes i don't i don't know if there was a wait time i didn't see one um but said yeah we came off and Natalie said I look like Hagrid because my hair is so humid and my hair's gone poof. 
But that was amazing, wasn't it? We, were, we both forgot quite how thrilling it was. Um, it's so fast, but we loved it, didn't we? Oh yeah, it was amazing. So now we are heading over to Universal Studios to get some food. I can't remember if I just said, but it's a 10 minute wait for the Hogwarts Express. So, um, it's just us at the moment in the queue. But yeah, I'm ready for some food as well. What time is it now? Like 10 to nine? Five past nine. Five past nine. So it's probably too early for breakfast, but this is gonna be like my second breakfast because I have that. I, I have feel like this is my lunch. <laughs> I've been awake for six hours. I had the other, the buttermilk bar, the cake donut thing from Voodoo Donuts is my breakfast this morning. And it was very cakey. I can see why they call it a cake bar. It was really nice. I'd definitely eat that again. It was a little bit lemony. But if it's only a 10 minute wait, hopefully it's gonna go quickly. the entrance to Diagon Alley but we're not going in there yet. We've got the night bus over here. And then I don't really know what the purpose of this facade is. It's sort of Gringottsy, but Gringottsy is obviously in Diagon Alley. And then we're going to place over here. Guess where we are heading to? I have to say I like uh, construction crusty on the wall over there. Hidden by all these people. There you go, get there in the end. I love that. But the attraction is still open, so you just gotta not go through Krusty's mouth, unfortunately. Oh, you do, I apologise. Cookie Mart is looking uh, pretty, pretty good, and then I love that as well. So, Natalie just wants a photo with Millhouse, so we'll just take that quickly. Oh, prank call, I'm guessing. So we're just at Moe's. Then we've got Jebediah Springfield over there. Obviously Chief Wiggum with a donut and Lard Lard Donuts behind him. This area is so quiet, literally. Don't you think? Yeah. There's like it. barely anybody here. And it's like, what, quarter past half past nine on a Saturday morning? And there's Krusty Burger. The sun is in a really bad position at the moment. Android's Dungeon. And then they've got the Bumblebee Taco stand, which has got really good reviews, I've heard. I've never noticed that sign before in all the times that we've been here. Oh, look, there's a little misting station. Ah, oh, amazing. It is getting quite warm directly in the sun, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice though. Have I been a good Instagram boyfriend today? What? Yes. Thank you. I've been there's doing been my best. Guidance. There's been lighting. <laughs> I've been taking lots of photos today. Um, we are still on the hunt for some fries. Um, we think there's somewhere around here that should be doing them um, or at least doing some food because a lot of the places are still shut at the moment because it's still quite early. Um, so yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, there's the mystery gang over there. I love this. $79. That is amazing. I've decided that I'm going to buy this mug. It's $13 and it's huge. Although I should check that it's dishwasher safe actually. Yes, microwave and dishwasher safe, amazing. Yeah, it's a really good size and I just really like that. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy that. Probably not now because we're gonna be walking around the parks a bit longer and I don't wanna break it and I don't wanna be carrying anything too heavy. Um, but I just really like all of this kind of style of stuff. It's, uh, it's nice. This mug looks like a bit of you because it's massive and it's 70% off. <laughs> I can't believe how quickly they've got the facade up for that villain com ride. It seems like no time ago that Shrek closed. <laughs> So we're in Race Through New York, lots of nice adverts on the walls, <laughs> and it's a 15 minute wait, so we thought we'd just do it. We've got a little museum here of previous presenters, and then Jimmy Fallon obviously is in the middle, because he's the guy who does it now. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be a good one. So we've just done the Jimmy Fallon ride, that was fun, wasn't it? It was good, yeah. And then we popped into the Christmas shop that we didn't know existed in Universal. 
studios. How do we not know a Christmas shop doesn't exist? I know. It's very, very small though, to be fair. Um, so we're now heading up to the Mummy. We're going to see what the wait time is, um, and then we might do that. So we'll see. Yay! So the Mummy was 55 minutes, and we were not going to wait for that. Um, so we went to Starbucks, and you've got a uh, vanilla cream cold brew. Is it nice? Or I've not drunk it yet. Oh, okay. I've still got tea. crisps in my teeth. <laughs> she got some crisps as well. Um, so we're now heading over to Men in Black, which is a hopefully a 20 minute wait. Um, and then we're going to do ET, which mm -hmm. is five minutes at the moment. And then we might head out so you can have a little sleep. Yeah. And then we are going to the outlets afterwards. So very wow. exciting. I just said we've done a whole loop. We're back at the London waterfront at King's Cross Station now. <laughs> and uh, trying to avoid these people taking their photo. So we're now sat down on this little semi-shady bench just by Men in Black. Natalie's just finishing her drink. Yeah, which is taking a little while, but... You said it was quite bitter when you had the first mouthful. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I like it. But yeah. we, we were just talking about our plan for the rest of the day. Um, we think we're gonna do Men in Black now, then we'll do ET, and then we'll probably head back to the hotel. Yeah. We'll have a little nap. And then, yeah, we'll head over to the outlets, and then we've got cowfish at six o'clock, so we don't know whether we're gonna spend all the time at the outlets and then come straight here, or whether we'll go back to the hotel, but we're just gonna play it by ear, to be honest. We're not on a strict time schedule, are we? It's nice to sit down yeah, for a minute. It's, it's been a bit of a bit of a been crazy been morning. Yeah. yeah. What, what time is it now? Quarter to 11. So we've been at the park for four, four hours? Three hours? Oh my god, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. Four hours. So it has been quite long. One of those was just to do the keys for hybrid. Yeah, but we agreed it was worth it. It was worth it. And it's like 120 minutes now. Um, so we spent far less than that waiting. Looking forward to Men in Black, hopefully. Yeah. I've just picked up my bag and I'm just picking up my sister who has been basking in the sun because oh my hey, god, it's so cold in there. Um, so it was posted at a 20 minute wait, it was about 25 minutes. Uh, uh, that was fine. And we enjoyed it. We did. We were saying that the great thing about coming back to Universal is that we forget a lot of stuff about it because we usually spend so much time at Disney. But we enjoyed it. We did, it was good fun. We were going to head over to ET but it's showing us delayed at the moment so we're just going to see what it looks like as we walk past. Um, but then we think we're going to head out back to the hotel and just chill out for a bit before yeah. shopping. Go on, what's the temperature? 28. Okay, yeah, I believe that. We were just saying that it's like half 11 in the morning now and it's much busier than it was when we were here at like, what, nine o'clock? Um, still not like mega, mega busy, which is good, but it is definitely busier. Oh, I've just reached my exercise goal. Oh, good, what's your exercise goal? 30 minutes. Oh, <laughs> yay, you've done far more than that, I've I can tell you that. So Natalie wanted to come in and take a photo in the pineapple under the sea. So here we are in SpongeBob store pants. <laughs> so we've just got off ET. We yeah. said it was a 35 minute wait and no we waited way. about 10. Yeah. So uh, don't always believe the wait times. <laughs> don't we, always believe what you need. <laughs> we said that we would never wait 35 minutes for that ride. No, um, but it's wait. nice to do. It's a cute it? ride. It's it like is. a little dark ride and it's not thrilling for a universal ride. Yeah. So, and they said your name at the end. Yeah, so they did say nice. Sophie after Oh, did they? Well, but it was kind of like, Shelfie. <laughs> like a creepy toddler. Thank you for visiting Shelfie. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're now just going to go and have a look at the um, Hollywood makeup horror show thing. Yes. Um, and the Born Suntacular and see which is going to come on first. We'll probably watch one. Yeah, um, and then we're gonna head back to the hotel just because we won't have time to watch both of them and maybe another day. It'd be nice to save one for another day, and we can do one yeah. show a day. Yeah, definitely, and it's a good rest, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we're starting will. to feel the tired now. Yeah. Well, well, I am. Yeah. But you've been up since quarter past three. Yeah, so, and it's yeah. now quarter to twelve. Yeah. It's been a long day for you. <laughs> it's, it has been a long day. Well, we got here at what half six in the morning. Yeah. So we do a break. <laughs> yeah. The alarm went off at five. That's quite. <laughs> yeah. Well, it would have done if I had turned it off because we were both already awake. But anyway. So we just got out, Natalie's gone to the toilet and I've just bought a mug, which I will show you in a later haul video. Um, we loved Bourne. It was amazing. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was kind of some physical sets and screens, but it was amazing. We both really enjoyed it. So we definitely recommend, if you're thinking about going to see the Bourne Spectacular, then do that. I should say that we went to see that one because we were ready at 10 to 12 and the next show was at 12. Um, we didn't watch the makeup show because that was 12.30. 
so that was a bit too long to wait. But now we are gonna head back to the hotel, have a little break, and then we will see you again when it's time for the outlets. So we're in the Beach Break Cafe, which is the um, restaurant at the hotel, and I've just got a kids mac and cheese, and it comes with a free drink, so I got a little apple juice, and it was $7 plus tax for both of those. Hello, we are back from the outlets. Um, obviously it was heaving with people, so I didn't film anything there. We went to the Nike outlet, no, didn't get anything, went to Bath and Body Works, didn't get anything. <laughs> Popped into the Disney outlet and we both got a couple of bits. Um, and then we went into the Lint outlet and Natalie bought some chocolates. We popped into Loxitan but didn't get anything. So we're now back at the hotel and we're going to be going back over to City Walk shortly to go to Cowfish. So we are just scoping out the menu at the moment. But yeah, I think we're both really looking forward to it. So we're all checked in for Cowfish. We're just waiting for the text to confirm that our table's ready. Um, we're hungry and we are looking forward to it. So yeah, we just stood by this massive poke thing in the shade. Just waiting for the text. Amazing, it literally tasted like a burger. And Natalie loved her Philly roll, although she couldn't finish it, so no, I'm, she's I'm, taking that I'm home. Taking it because it's so good. And also she's gonna try and take the coat, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so we're out of cowfish, obviously. Um oh we, my God, that was so good. it was really good. Um, we both really like cat food and um, no, we've so actually much. so <laughs> yeah, we've uh, booked to go back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we already know what we're gonna have. I love that we were in there and then we made a reservation for going back in there. Yeah, literally. It was like really good. Hours later. <laughs> um, it also helps because Natalie is celiac, so um, obviously a lot of sushi stuff is gluten free. Yay! So that was a big benefit. Um, but we are now just heading back to the hotel. We're gonna chill out. Our kind of feet and legs are feeling it now. Yeah. We've done a lot of walking today. We probably should have gone a bit easier on day one, but ah oh well. Volcano Bay tomorrow, so we've got a bit yeah, more of a relaxing day. day. We're back and we picked up, well, I picked up a little bit of food from the Beach Break Cafe downstairs. So I got a blueberry muffin, which is just for breakfast tomorrow. We're going to Volcano Bay, so I just wanted something Ooh. quick to eat beforehand. Uh, that was $3.50. And then I also got this Oreo brownie. Look at this beast. Look how thick that is. They also had a peanut butter chocolate brownie type thing, yeah. which also looked amazing. And that was $4.50. I'm gonna have a little bit of the brownie now. Um, I might give Natalie a little bit if she wants a little corner. But other than that, it's 10 to eight. So we're just gonna have a chilled out evening. I think Natalie's probably gonna go to sleep soon, aren't you? Cause she's tired after quite a few nights of not very good sleep. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to chuckle at that. You I was just chuckling at you going, all you've said Natalie. this whole vlog is that Natalie sleeps a lot and Natalie needs a nap and <laughs> yeah, Natalie's but, tired. Yeah, but that's, that's true. <laughs> hey, don't call me I'm tired now, too, but I haven't slept today. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Natalie's I don't sleep that much. <laughs> Apart from when she does, <laughs> ironically. But yeah, so that's probably all from today. So hope you have enjoyed following us on today's vlog. And um, Natalie's just wandering in the background. Are you going to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye to everyone. Goodbye to everyone. <laughs> um, tomorrow is Volcano Bay in the morning. So a bit of a later start for us, which is quite nice. And then we're going to Islands of Adventure in the afternoon. And as we said earlier, cowfish again. <laughs> in the <laughs> evening so i'm gonna have to have another look at the menu to work out which sushi roll i'm gonna have yeah thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow bye, bye.